So I want to do another Sims 4 build challenge and I wonder if you can guess what this one is going to be based on. I just really like the paintings that you can make in the Sims. Like they're so cool. And so um, I've just been having a bunch of Sims paint a bunch of them and I'm kind of separating them into categories because I thought it'd be cool to have like paintings upload on the gallery in like sets. You know, these are these are paintings of animals. These are like food paintings, you know, there's the figure paintings, abstract, that kind of thing. So I don't know. I thought that would be a fun project to do. That's not what this video is about. Um, I don't know if I'll make a video about that, but I might. It might be up on my gallery at some point. Just like some paintings if you want to use them in builds and stuff, because I thought that would be fun. But that's not what we're doing here. What I want to do is build a house, but every room is a different painting. And I was actually inspired to do this by a video on Sid Mac's channel where she did like every room was a different uh, emotional painting. So like see the Sim is flirty so they can make a flirty painting. But I don't want to just do emotional paintings. I want to do like all of the painting. So yeah, I just put all of these different painting types on a wheel along with all of the emotional paintings and I'm going to spin the wheel and see which type we land on. And then for some of them, there's different sizes. So there's like small, medium, and large. So if we get one of the, ty the like painting types that has different sizes, I will also spin or like randomly generate a number for which size of painting we're gonna do. And then I'm just gonna like build a house based off of those paintings and like each room, it'll be based around whatever's in the painting. So yeah, I think this should be interesting. Let's see what happens. This is gonna be for the exterior of the building. So hopefully it's something I can work with. Let's see. A pop art painting. Oh, that's fun. That could go a lot of different ways. Okay. Now pop art, that is one that has like small, medium, large. So go over to my random number generator. I'm going to say one is small, two is medium, three is large. So let's see. Two. Okay. So we have a medium pop art painting. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do the first painting on this lot. And then, you know, we'll move to the actual lot we're going to build on. And the sim I'm using for this has level 10 painting. So we should have a ton of options that could happen. I mean, you can see just a few of them right here. There's a lot of variety. Here's a few of my pop art paintings I've had. I wonder, we might get one like this, honestly, one of these like superhero type paintings. What am I gonna do for the exterior if it's one of those? Oh dear, I'm a little bit nervous now. <laughs> oh, okay, everyone is coming over here to paint, but it looks like it's gonna be a cat and a dog. How do I make an exterior of a house? It's a cat and a dog. I mean, maybe that means I need to use the cats and dogs pack. Well, I mean, it's a cool paint. Oh dear, but I don't, <laughs> all right. Okay, <laughs> so maybe like yellow, red, and blue. I've got to figure out how I'm going to incorporate cats and dogs into this. I mean, I don't think the cats and dogs pack has much in yellow, red, and blue. Oh, okay. I will say because of this, we'll build in Brindleton Bay because I wasn't sure where I was going to build. I'll build in Brindleton Bay. I may have gotten in over my head with this one. You know what? I'm also going to just take an easel. It'll make things easier. I don't know, like how big, oh, we're already in Brindleton Bay. I was like, what the heck is this over there? I thought it was some sort of graveyard. No, that's where I've been painting. Well, I guess we can't build on that lot, but I could do like this ragdoll refurb down here. I've never built over here. I feel like that could be fun. Let's try that. Okay, so we're like right on the docks, which is nice. Let me look through cats and dogs. Hold on, I need a wall to hang up this painting on just for a bit. Cause I wanna also like, I wanna put this painting up outside. I mean, I guess I could make it not a house, but I think, I just feel like for build challenges in general, it's much better if you can make it into a house. Uh, otherwise I'd make it into like a vet clinic or something. <laughs> but you know, only the exterior is gonna be cats and dogs as far as we know. So I'm just gonna look through the catalog for anything that like reminds me of this, anything that catches my eye. I definitely wanna put in dog and cat doors. I definitely need to do that. I guess I could also do some sort of like obstacle horse. I just don't know if there's a room for that. I do want to make it a two-story building because the building that was here before was and I think it would fit in this area better. Okay, so here's my picture and here is the house that I made. I kind of love it. Like when I got this picture, I was really concerned, but I, th I think it looks good. I mean, obviously I have the cat and the dog touches here. We have a dog door down there and we already have a little cat walking towards the door actually. And then I have these cute little cat and dog decals. I mean, it doesn't look much like a house, but... I think it still works because like, so the last house that was here used to be a warehouse that was converted into like a family home. So maybe this was a warehouse or some sort of like vet 
or store. I mean, I did use like literally the store awning here. I just thought it fit. Uh, so maybe it was that and then converted into a house. I wanted to do very like straight lines because I felt like that would fit the pop art style the most with these straight lines. And then of course we have this wallpaper with the sort of like beams. I get a lot of use out of that wallpaper. I think it's from Mach Machino stuff. Actually the windows are too, come to think of it. But I thought it went really well with our little medium pop art masterpiece here. And then I also put this little shelf above the doggy door and underneath the picture for some reason. I don't really know why. It's like an offering to them. I just thought it looked cute. And then of course we have our mailboxes here. We had to do a cat and a dog. I don't, that might glitch in the game. I don't know what happens if you have two mailboxes, but it just felt necessary. And then in the front, well, in this, like, we have, like, a front and side yard. We have, of course, an obstacle course for the dog. <laughs> and we have some little statues here. And then around this side, there's, like, another door and then also another little pet door so they can get in multiple ways. And then, of course, I can't forget the cat, so I had a cat tree. We also have a litter box and some food balls over here. And yeah, I just feel like I did a pretty good job. Like, I thought that this would be really hard, but I think it turned out nice. So let me show you the floor plan I've made. So you'll enter here and then we have a little living room with some stairs going up to the second floor. We also have an archway over here going into like, this will be the kitchen and dining area. And then we have a bathroom right here. And this, it could be a bedroom or it could be like an office or just like an extra room, depending on whatever the painting will be for there. I just put a bed to like see if a bed would fit, you know, if we end up making it a bedroom. It could also maybe be a kid's bedroom if we have any kids. And then upstairs, we have another little like living area. There's plenty of space for whatever we want to put up here. So it just kind of depends on what the painting is. We have another bedroom. We have a bathroom here and then another bedroom. So that's like, I think it's like eight rooms or something. So we'll have eight more paintings to go through. I put a little bit of terrain paint down just to make it look like, you know, they're using this obstacle course and stuff. And we are gonna have to put an easel in somewhere. Honestly, maybe I should just put an easel outside. All right, time to see what the wheel will give me this time. Surrealism painting. Oh, that could be interesting, okay. Now we got to figure out small, medium, or large. That's a one. So a small surrealism. I got to make sure I don't forget what I just spun. Okay. I'm just going to get my sim here to come and do a surrealism painting in small. I've never actually played in like this part of Brindleton Bay, like had a house here. It's really nice. There's a lot of stuff happening. Lots of animals walking by some birds, little dig spots. It actually looks, I've had, I've had several heart-shaped paintings. That looks a little bit different from the other ones I've had. It looks kind of like dolphins. It might just be like cool colors. I might do this for the bathroom just because it's so small. It'll be easier to fit in the bathroom than say like a large painting. I think it's just a heart. Is anyone else seeing dolphins or is that just me? Am I just being weird? I guess I'll go with this color scheme and maybe any heart stuff I can find. Maybe I should use the golden toilet here. I mean, there is gold in the picture. Can I search for like heart? For some reason, it's bringing up some grilled cheese plushes when I did that, which maybe not. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Even just like a simple lavender. I could maybe, I could duplicate it. Maybe if I got some other paintings, I could like intersperse them. I don't know, is that weird? It does seem a little bit out of place. Oh, is there a heart bath mat? I mean, this one does have a heart and a paw print. It kind of keeps the theme from outside too. That's so funny that that one is the one that had a heart. All right, I think that's all. I mean, I did spend quite a while on it, but it's just a little bathroom. I think it's fine. <laughs> and it was all based on this weird little surrealism painting. All right, now for our next room, that'll probably be the living room, but we'll see. It's gonna be, oh, a playful painting. Oh, okay. Depending on what this is, there's, there's a few things we could do here. So I don't need to spend for what size it'll be because all of the emotional paintings are one size only. Now that does mean I'll need to get my sim into a playful mood, but they are about to talk to this cat. So I think if you like do play with the laser pointer with the cat, it'll make you playful. I am gonna get rid of the confident moodlets though real quick. <laughs> Cause that will, we have, why do we have so many? We have focused, wait, why do you, why do you have so many of these? All right. Oh my gosh, the laser pointer is a little fish. What? I have never seen, is that a, what? I never noticed that. That's so cool. Now let's come and make a playful painting. There's a few ways this can go. A lot of times it's like a, like a child. Oh, hello Vlad. A lot of times it's like a childish sort of drawing, which in, if that's the case, I could 
make this room over here like a kid's bedroom. I think that could be fun. Vlad, you're not in this challenge. Go away. Wait, I can actually make you go away. Go away. I've never, I don't think I've seen this one. I don't know what it is though. Man, this is like, it looks sort of like a serpent. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just like colors, but wow. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe not a kid's bedroom then, but I could do this for the living room. I'm hoping we'll get a little bit less abstract things because it's easier to build when it's like not quite so abstract, but I can still take inspiration from the color scheme and stuff. I think I will also duplicate this one. The, like the paintings are just kind of small. I wish you could, I wish they could make like horizontal paintings because I'm always wanting horizontal stuff to put above like a fireplace or whatever. You know, if we did a TV, maybe one on each side of a TV would be good. I do think since it is a playful painting, I should put like playful things in here. Probably like some kids toys. I think having this little play table might be nice. This is going to be weird if I end up not putting any kids in this house, but I kind of like this idea of like a little playful corner over here. Oh, playful is also the one for comedy. So we can maybe do like a microphone. I wonder if any of these rooms will be deadly because um you can die from being hysterical, which is too playful in this game. So that would be interesting if a sim just came in here and like died. Let's see. They can do stuff with like piano and guitar or violin when they're playful. Be nice to have a keyboard in here. All right, let's find a wallpaper. I think I'll try this for now. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we could have a fun little dinosaur right here. Wow, this really does look like a kid's daycare or something. I kind of like it though. And it's not exactly like the picture, but it's like similar colors. I feel like it's a similar idea. Okay, so Here's the living room I built based off of this painting. I think it's pretty cute, honestly. I love all the colors. I put a lot of like kids and toddler stuff in here because it's like, it looks like something a kid might do. I think like that's the point at least and it's a playful painting. So I put a microphone for them to tell jokes. They can watch shows. I put a few kids activities like this violin and I put toddler blocks. And then back here we have a cute little monster chair beside our piano and some posters. And yeah, I think it's a pretty cute little living room. And I definitely think it matches the vibe of these paintings. All right, for the next room, I mean, it's either going to be this extra room right here or like this kitchen area. I kind of hope we can get something for a kid's room. That would be nice to have. All right, let's go spin. For the next room, we have a landscape painting. Okay, that could be fun. I feel like that could have gone well in the living room, to be honest, but that's fine. Oh, my Sim is viewing the first painting. That's kind of fun. Let's do a landscape painting. So here's our painting. Yeah, it would have been really nice for a living room. I don't know. I'm not feeling it for the kitchen. I'm thinking maybe for this room over here. Let's see. I mean, I think I could probably use some stuff from like outdoor retreat. So I could do this like leafy wallpaper from the base game. Although there's one, is it from, I don't know if it's from Parenthood. Let me see. Yeah, Parenthood, there's this misty forest wallpaper. I don't know. It's not green enough though. Hmm. I feel like the like vibe is similar. I think this green leaf wallpaper is what we're going to have to go with, honestly. Although something with like water would be nice too. There is like waterfall in the background. You know, this might be a nice headboard for a bed. It's a little big. For flooring, I mean, the floor in this picture is very like dirt and grass and stuff. Oh, and then there's like some rugs that are like green and planty. Hold on, I could use some of those. Yeah, so there's this, these garden rocks. It's like, hear me out. We just like sort of put these around everywhere. Yeah, I kind of like this. Okay. All right, we're, we're going somewhere where something's happening. I don't know if I can fit like whole trees in here, but that would be nice. Um, I need a bed. Let us look at beds. Oh yeah, this one from Outdoor Tree is like perfect, honestly. Oh, uh, I don't know though. I wish the wood color was different. This one is maybe good, but it is still... Uh, maybe I need to change the color of this. I could also maybe like sort of disguise the edges of this. Like what if I get some sort of tree? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a little weird. Uh, let's see. I think we're looking at pine trees from that picture. Oh yeah, it's coming together. Not sure how I feel about the waterfall thing now. I just, like, I like the idea of a waterfall. I just feel like I need to hide the little thing it comes out of. I could maybe hide it with rocks. Definitely looks like a little bit of a safety hazard to have this many rocks above your bed. It would be nice to have, like, a desk or something here, but I don't know how practical that would be. We could also do a dresser. I feel like I definitely need some curtains up here to 
cover these windows that really don't fit the vibe. I mean, there is this, but it doesn't really cover it. I guess I could use... I wonder if I could have used that to disguise the waterfall, actually. It might be kind of cool to put this, like, up here. Yeah, like, now there's, like, vines up there. That's kind of cool. I mean, I could maybe change to, like, white... I feel like it wouldn't be that noticeable on the back on the house. This is just like the back. Okay. Yeah, so we have like the actual trees. And there's like the rocks and the grass on the ground. It's pretty good, I think. Let's do a little bit of clutter, I guess. I could just get like a bug. How about fireflies? That could be cool because they'll like light up and stuff. Yeah, I think that's this room, honestly. It's not. I mean, maybe it's a kid's room. Maybe the kid has a very specific sense of style. <laughs> it could be a kid's room. But yeah, this is our first little ground floor bedroom. Okay, that's our landscape painting. Now we have one final room on the first floor, the kitchen. And whatever I get, I'm just gonna use for the kitchen. So hopefully it's something good. Spinning the wheel. Classic painting. This could be good. It could be something with food on it, which would be nice. It could also be like a portrait. So now we got to spin for small, medium, or large. I still haven't gotten a large painting. Two, so that's medium. Okay, we have a medium classic painting. Wait, is that a, this looks like an animal. Is that a bunny or like a squirrel? That's a squirrel in a uniform. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never seen that painting before. What? Okay, a squirrel in a uniform. You know, I'm going to create a copy of this one. That seems necessary. I've never seen this painting before. All right, well, so our kitchen, how do I even, how do you design a kitchen around that? Like what, how, I don't know what kind of uniform that is. Like obviously it's like military. I, I really did not think this would be like as hard of a challenge as it is. Like, this stuff is just so random. All right, well, I guess let's start with like counters and stuff. So I'm thinking like we want like brown, black, and gold. I'm just like going through looking for appliances that have gold on them. Uh, we could maybe do this oven. Man, these red windows really are not helping on the inside of my build. I didn't really think that through. They're just, they're kind of a lot. Ooh, that could be kind of cool. No, that's, that's a fire hazard. Look at how it's hanging down onto the stove. All right, maybe do it for over here and then, oh over the door there we go all right there's some gold it's um all right i'm not sure but this does look sort of navy to me so i feel like i should there should be a boat or something you know it doesn't look that good but that's fine i'll do something like this at least we have the gold here now <laughs> oh you know what we do have um we do have animals so i might do some treats up on the counter <laughs> i always feel like there's a ship in a bottle thing but maybe there's oh there's this that's what i was thinking of how is there nothing on here that says anything about it being a boat or a ship or anything that's so annoying <laughs> like no wonder i can never find it i haven't really put any like squirrel themed things in here are there squirrel themed things wait a minute there is a squirrel hot chocolate kit so I guess we'll do that. You know, this is actually coming together better than I thought it would. For a table. Ooh, this is the undersea traditional dining table. Maybe a little longer would be nice, but I think I'm probably get around that, right? I just don't put chairs on the end, obviously. This might be getting too fancy at this point, but I'm just, I'm going for gold. <laughs> I wish I had like a little squirrel figurine I could put down or something, you know? Let's see, we have, so there is a bunny statue. Yeah, I don't really see any squirrels. I might just do this cat. <laughs> and then, ooh, is that an acorn? Yeah, I feel like I need to put an acorn, this little acorn wreath up. Ooh, we could do a wall, a captain's wheel. I still don't know if that's actually like, if the, the uniform that the squirrel is wearing indicates that they are like on a boat or like in the Navy or whatever, but that's what I'm going with. I might actually switch those. And then, yeah, I think that's my kitchen slash dining room. Here is our photo for inspiration. I think I did a pretty good job for the fact that I got a picture of a squirrel wearing a military uniform. So that is our first floor done and it's time to go upstairs. All right, so let's spin for the first upstairs room. Illustrative painting. Okay, that's a fun one. I th I'm pretty sure this one has different sizes. So I'll spin for that as well or randomly generate a number. Ooh, large. Okay, large illustrative painting. Now you may be thinking, illustrative painting, where is that? That's not on this easel because yeah, it's not. But if your sim has one of these, a digital sketch pad, there's a special type of painting, an illustrative painting, which I hadn't like fully realized until recently, but it's kind of cool. There's a whole new type of painting and they also cost a little bit less. So that's nice. So we're going to do a large illustrative painting. 
All right, so let's see what our illustrative painting is. Looks like it's black and white, which is kind of weird because it's like these are digital paintings on the digital sketch pad and it looked like they were using a lot of color. And it looks like the figure paintings, uh, but it's a little bit more anatomical. <laughs> like it has more features. I do think, I think this would be cool though to make this upstairs area like an art room. Obviously, you know, they're all paintings, but like this looks like maybe we can set up a modeling space um, like stuff that they could look at to paint. Although I, I don't know if it makes much sense to put a bunch of easels up here when they literally made this on a sketch pad, but I guess I could, I could add in like a sketch pad area maybe. I definitely need a railing around these stairs though. And I can try to go for a more black and white theme since the picture is black and white. And I want to do like some sort of workspace with different models. I do, I want to do like a mannequin or I guess I could always use statues as well. Let me look at statues first actually. See if I can find one that looks like this. <laughs> this, I mean, it doesn't look exactly the same, but we could do one of those statues maybe. I'm gonna turn on my cheat so that I can like see all the unlockable things because I know there's some good unlockable stuff from the painting career. Oh yeah, I like this little artist supply thing. Canvases, that's good. Um, there's also some blank canvases. I kind of have a lot of stuff already. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a thing I was thinking of. This like still life set. I just thought you know, if the idea is we want to set up things for people to paint, um, this could be nice to have. I think I've got a lot of stuff now. I just have to figure out how I want to set it up. I kind of want to have a viewing station for this picture specifically. Ooh, these tables could be good. I'm looking for like something to go here that we could put some of this stuff on. I guess I could duplicate the painting and put it on one of the easels because it does seem weird without a canvas on these. I guess I could always have the sim start painting and not finish. So we just have like the blank canvas on there. I guess I could put a full size mannequin in here. It's just like, I'd also have to dress them. That could be fun though. I do like making outfits. I hate how gendered these mannequins are. Your sim can only buy clothes off the mannequins that I think that have the same gender marker as them. I'm not sure though. I wish there was a way to do like a, put a wig on the mannequin or something so it actually looked like it had long hair like this sketch. Maybe I should do another little table down here that I could put more sketch pads on. Is that weird to just have a bunch of s digital sketch pads just like laying around? Maybe it's a little bit weird. Okay maybe. I don't know. Ooh this wallpaper paper actually I don't know like it's obviously it's a little bit out there but I kind of like it it is black and white it I just feel like it fits the vibe of this painting you know we could also do all black which would also be nice kind of like a blank canvas you know Ooh, I do really like how clean that looks I'm gonna have my sim duplicate this picture. I don't know if it'll actually look good like on one of these, but we can try. I'm also going to dress the mannequin, so I'm gonna have to, oh, I can change pose. Playful, yeah, none of these uh, seem, yeah, I think the neutral might just be better. Do neutral, and then I'm gonna create an outfit for this mannequin. This sim is like not wearing anything, <laughs> but I want, I'm gonna make an outfit that's like, like neutral, like black and white. Uh, we're at least gonna do black and white, we'll see. Oh, you can change the like size of the mannequin, that's cool. The thing is like, I can't really make the mannequin like not have any clothes on because I always have the underwear on and I don't think that fits the aesthetic very well. Ooh, this could be nice. It does, I don't know about the in black though. I don't know. It doesn't look that great on the mannequin. It looks really good on Sims, but I'm not loving it on the mannequin, honestly. I feel like I need something that like emphasizes the body shape because clearly the uh, original photo or painting does that. That looks kind of cool. I could try that. I kind of we look at hats, I guess. Or maybe I could do like sunglasses or something <laughs> to make it look more real. I just wish I could like give it, give the mannequin some sort of hair so it would match more with the painting. I don't know. What if I, what if I did a hat? Maybe I could do a cool looking hat. I don't know. Let me just see what that looks like. Honestly, the hat kind of makes it work because I just feel like the head looks strange without it. I don't hate that. Now we definitely need some artwork up here on this wall. I'm always stuck where I like need something wide, some like wide art. <laughs> It's always so hard to find. This could be cool, actually. The white and black could be cool, but honestly, this one where it kind of blends into the wall is also cool. I might go with that. And then even, hmm, I wonder if, like, can I do, like, wall lights or something around it to make it look, make it pop? Something like that? Yeah, I think I like that. So yeah, here's our nice little um, art room for this painting. I think it looks pretty nice. We have some statues to paint. We have another copy of that painting. 
some still life. We even have a mannequin dressed up so people can paint them. I also put in some digital sketch pads because, you know, that's how the original painting was created. Maybe I could do a small rug in this hallway or something, but other than that, I think I'm pretty much done. I think I like this one. I think that one's pretty nice. All right, so there we go. <laughs> that is our first room upstairs. Now we have three more. I don't know. I Let's say I'll probably be doing this bedroom next, but it kind of just depends. Also, my trees from downstairs are kind of poking through the ceiling. Wait, oh, when I move you, okay, I can't see them now. Oh, no, they're, uh, we'll just ignore that. The curtains over here might be harder to ignore though. Maybe if I had, if I had a bed, like you might not notice it. Wait, yeah, that'll probably be fine, but I might have to adjust it. <laughs> All right, so let's go spin for the next room. We have a lot of emotional paintings left. Speaking of, flirty. Okay, that can probably work for the bedroom. I mean, depending on what it is. All right. Hmm, now I need to get my sim in a flirty mood. I mean, let me just, I'll just use this room real quick. We'll get one of these VIP buckets to make it flirty. And I'll, I think I'll replace what's on this easel, but we can always put it back afterwards. Oh, my sim, I could I could just surge emotion anyways. My sim is feel, it has the controlled emotion <laughs> from being emotionally mindful. All right, sure. We'll just surge flirty then that's easy all right let's go make a flirty painting and i wonder what it will be oh how fitting it's love day right now <laughs> okay i actually yeah i kind of wish i got this one for like the kitchen or something but i could do something with this so the color scheme is sort of like a maroon burgundy brown and white i don't think we have wallpaper with hearts on it maybe from like the kids stuff there might be some. Yeah, that doesn't quite match the vibes here. And also don't really want to make this a kid's room. I feel like it should be an adult's room. Let me see. There's probably a color in here that matches. Oh, that's pretty good. For flooring, I'm feeling like a luxurious carpet. But like, you know, maybe have some wood first and then a carpet over it. There's got to be a heart-shaped carpet, right? I mean, there was that like dog one we used. <laughs> this could maybe be a nice rug. I could see that working. We still got the trees coming up through the ground, which isn't optimal. All right, I need a romantic bed. This might be, okay. Maybe I should search for like chocolate. Oh yeah, the hot chocolate kit. Okay, we already did that. We already did that in the kitchen. Um, heart. Oh yeah, there is the heart from Outdoor Treat. This one? I don't know. I feel like <laughs> it might look silly down there, but like right now I'm feeling this. I probably should get this and put it in here. Our little romantic, what is it even? I don't know, whatever this thing is. VIP bucket. And then I have a little dresser. I can put that on top of. Let me move this down a little bit. It does look nice up there. I should size up paintings more often, honestly. I do wish I had like something to represent chocolate. I guess I could do the hot chocolate again. I mean, maybe they just really love hot chocolate, you know? I don't, I don't see why not. Oh, a rose. We definitely need a rose. Let's see, is there any other unlockable stuff you can get from dates? Not that I can see, at least. All right, that's fine. I feel like I should put a mirror in here because you can do like flirty interactions with the mirror or like interactions that'll make someone flirty. Wait, is there a heart mirror? I don't think there is. There's a star mirror. There's a moon mirror. There's a cloud mirror. I mean, this one has a heart. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it fits the aesthetic. I feel like a fancy one like this might be good. It might not. I might not keep it there. I do need to actually do nightstands though. It's always so hard to find curtains that match with the windows in this game. Like I end up just wanting to cover them all the way up. Man, it's so, it's so glitchy too. I'm thinking I might end up putting a desk over here because, you know, I have a, quite a bit of space still. Might as well fill it with something. I'm, hmm, maybe I should have a love seat though. You know, like love, lo you know, it's, it's called a love seat. Ooh, that's a nice one. I could see this. Yeah, like over even by the little mirror. That's nice. Maybe for the lamps, I'll just do these candles. So it's like, you know, it's kind of romantic, I guess. We really need more computers in this game. None of these seem realistic at all. I don't know. We'll just give you this giant brick one. Oh, the like computer is right behind the screen. I have never seen that in my life. What the heck? <laughs> There's some little heart decals. I guess, I mean, I guess I could go up there. I feel like wine would be nice too because like wine kind of goes with chocolate. So maybe I'll do like a nice little picture of wine. I'm gonna make it smaller though because that's massive. <laughs> I'll do a little freezer bunny cupid. Why not? Sure, that's fine. And yeah, I think that's it for a bedroom based off of this flirty heart painting. I guess maybe I should put something on the desk. Uh, I could do a little heart lamp. 
and some more flowers. There we go. Actually, another plant over here would also be nice. Hold on. Are there more roses? This is supposed to be like an outdoor plant, but I think I'm just going to put this in here and pretend everything's normal. I mean, it looks nice. Okay, so next up, probably the bathroom, um, but we'll see. We just have the bathroom and the bedroom left, so let's go spin. All right, so we're gonna do a realism painting. All right, that's interesting. So now we need to see what size. Small, medium, or large. One, that's a small. I mean, I'm getting so many small paintings. Okay. <laughs> a small realism painting. Let's go. Ooh, is that a lighthouse? Oh, yeah. Okay, that, I think that could go in the bathroom, right? We'll have to see. I don't know what all we ha will have for the lighthouse, but I think that could look nice in a bathroom. Oh, yeah, and we, there's like the boat wallpaper. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a lot. Let's see. <laughs> They're all like really intense, actually. Now I'm second guessing because I don't know if I like how that looks. I don't know. I think this one probably looks less overwhelming. All right, we do have this watery tile. There's the lighthouse, right? Pendleton light. Come in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I want to have this somewhere. It is a table lamp, so we'll need a table, I guess. I'm not really sure what kind of tub goes with the lighthouse. The corner tub could be nice. I don't know if we have room for one. We could try though. Maybe even the blue one. So it's like you're, you know, in the water. I'm just gonna do like, I don't know, a blue toilet, I guess. <laughs> and then, oh, maybe a red and white sink for like the red and white lighthouse. We could do this shelf and then like raise up the lighthouse on top of it. I think I'll put the lighthouse picture above the toilet and we'll do a uh, mirror above the sink. I feel like I need like beacon lights in here because of, you know, the lighthouse. I don't know. None of these are super beacony though. Oh, here we go. The spotlight. Okay. That's um, too big, but <laughs> I'll just like, I'll just throw a little spotlight in here, you know? All right. So here's my little lighthouse bathroom. So now on to our very last bedroom. I wonder what it'll be. Let's go find out. One last spin of the wheel impressionism painting okay we didn't get a lot of the emotional paintings which is kind of weird what size three a large impressionism painting oh good Ooh, all right it's more trees but these are very colorful trees let's bring it up to the bedroom i think it's gonna be a very colorful room up here there's like yellow blue green orange was van gogh uh impressionism let me see Oh, Van Gogh is apparently a post-impressionist painter. Well, all right. I kind of wanted to use this bed, though. The, uh, the Starry Night one. That's fair. It didn't exactly fit. This might be nice. It's from, like, Seasons and does have the sort of fall colors. You could also go for something more like this. This might be a bit much. I don't know. It's, uh, maybe. I'm just kind of like, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing at this point, honestly. I'm just sort of throwing stuff together. Maybe I'll just go with this. I think this lantern is nice. I'm just kind of trying to get stuff in these colors and I don't know, tree stuff, plants. Maybe I'll do this plant lamp also. <laughs> maybe I'm just going to throw a bunch of plants in here, see how it works, you know? It's not horrible. I don't hate it. I don't know why I'm feeling these like luggage, the storage chest things for this room. I feel like, you know, Roll of Magic stuff could maybe work well in here along with the paranormal stuff. Actually, I could use the paranormal desk. Would that be better? Yeah, maybe we'll try that. You can't see any mushrooms in this picture, but you know, they might be there. You never know. Let's do a little tree in the corner. Ooh, this could actually look nice uh, by the painting. Let me see. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's, I think this is good for this room. Uh, I at least captured the colors from the painting, I think. And I think it's sort of a vibe. There's lots of little plants and stuff. So yeah. So that's this challenge complete. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be, honestly. But I mean... I did make some pretty cool rooms. We ended up with three bedrooms, none of them really for kids, even though our living room is very uh, set up for children and like toddlers, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, and we also, of course, have a cat and a dog that uh, own the outside, the exterior of the house, basically. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this build challenge. I have a whole bunch of other ones that I've done like this. I'll link a playlist of them if you want to go check those out. I definitely enjoy a good every room is a different blank build challenge. Let me know down in the comments which room was your favorite and if you have any suggestions for 
other build challenges I should do. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And yeah, I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.